realize you were there. Today is a uh, mortgage mind video. The next one, my name is Martin Mesa with Rate One Financial. And today's video is called Online Lenders versus Traditional Lenders. I'm gonna try to break down when I think it might be okay to actually use an online lender. And I hate to say it because that's my competition. So I don't really ever want to recommend them, but I'll try to break it down in my opinion when I think it might be okay to actually use one. So it's probably okay to use an online lender if your situation or the loan you're trying to get is pretty straightforward. Meaning you have excellent credit without credit issues or blemishes in the past that you might have to explain. Uh, it might be okay if you have like one source of income and that's it, or maybe just um, you know one person on the loan applying and not multiple people with multiple income sources and a lot of moving parts. Or in general, if you are a cookie cutter candidate for a loan and there's really not a comp not a lot of complexity to your situation. If you've got multiple sources of income going on, if you've got issues in the past with your credit. Um, if your money hasn't been in the bank for a while and you're getting it from all these sources kind of at the last minute, all these reasons are reasons why it might be a headache to deal with an online lender because they're built to process somebody's loan that is a cookie cutter situation. Anything outside of that situation and you're going to have a hard time dealing with an online lender in my opinion. We are a traditional lender. We're set up to deal with those kinds of situations. We know how to deal with them. We know how to circumvent all the issues that might come up. Um, by the way, with a traditional lender, you'll actually most likely get to speak to somebody on a regular basis, either, either in person or on the phone. A lot of times with online lenders, you don't get to speak to anybody. You might, get to, you might get to speak to them on the phone, but a lot of times it might just be a chat. So you don't get that kind of uh, level of personal communication with an online lender. So I would say those are the main things uh, that differentiate using a traditional versus an online lender. So if you're not cookie cutter, I don't recommend going that route. Use a traditional lender. It'll make your life a lot less stressful throughout the loan process. And lastly, the only other way you would probably use an online lender is if you have experience getting a mortgage before, you know the lingo. Uh, otherwise, it's all going to be new to you and an online lender is not going to spend the time educating you on it. So you kind of be going at it blindly. So anyway, hope that helps. Feel free to call us if you have any questions. My name is Martin Mesa with Rate One Financial and we'll see you on the other side on the next episode of Mortgage Mind. If you like what we're doing, please like and share with your friends and family. Take care.